it's finally really strawberry season. I got almost a quart of strawberries today. And my parents picked a quart yesterday. So, um, yeah, it's very exciting. So yesterday in my video, I um, just posted how I start my day. And I mentioned a rain barrel. And someone sent me a message and asked me, what's a rain barrel? So I thought maybe other people have that same question and I will show you. So a rain barrel is a large plastic barrel that um, you attach to a gutter. So um, when I had, or to a downspout, when I had my gutters put in on my addition, I had them make the downspout short and then put an elbow in here so that it would be at the right height. Um, I actually had to have my dad adjust it because in the winter I let all the water out and I put the barrel on its side and put it under my deck so I had to um, be able to get it out and it was wedged in there too tight. So um, anyway, there's a screen on top which keeps big things from getting in there. Of course, um, it's, I'm sure, a mosquito breeding ground, but so be it. Um, and then I have a couple cement stones underneath it to raise it up so that I can put a watering can underneath and fill up the watering can with rainwater to then water my garden. So I never used to have to water my vegetable garden because it's so high, I mean, so, um, so low. But now I have all these raised beds, so I have watered it this spring when it hasn't rained. And um, so it really just takes one good rain to fill up this barrel. And um, we finally had that yesterday. So it is full and I will be able to use it when the garden needs water. So there you go. I have heard um, some people say that you shouldn't use rain barrel water on things you're going to eat because of debris from the roof and that might not be healthy and I'm normally a person who cares about those things but I also um, am cheap so this water's free. So I do use it on my vegetable garden so comment if you know something about that. These are um, snapdragons my mom planted behind my house last year and they really came back. There's some oregano that likes to spread. Um, I planted a bunch of poppy seeds one of you gave me and they, I don't think they came up, but we'll see what's going to grow over here. Um, I planted sunflower seeds back here and I don't think they've come up. The mint garden. Um, so my cousin Suzanne made me a fire pit and I don't know, it was hard to use it because it was either too hot for a fire or too many, many mosquitoes and black fi flies for a fire. Um, so it's a uh, mint garden now. Thanks, Suzanne. So this is, I think, peppermint, and all of that is spearmint. So when I made my mint ice cream this spring, I made like three or four batches, um, I only used the mint that I thinned out from around the peppermint and from around the garden. All of this I left there. Um, so if you need mint to make something or you want to plant mint, I've got you covered. Okay. I seriously was in the garden this morning and there was no asparagus. And then it rained a whole lot and it's hot. And I found all this asparagus. <laughs> How does that happen? It grows so fast. Hello again. Um, I thought I should tell you what I'm reading. It's been a while. Um, right now I'm reading, I think it might be backwards for you, um, Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine um, by Gail Honeyman. So um, I've seen this book around for a little while and it's been on lists that um, of books recommended to me. So I finally decided to read it, and um, it's very entertaining so far. Um, it's about a woman who, I don't know, maybe she's 30-ish? I can't remember. Um, maybe late 20s. 
um, and she is a little bit socially awkward. So um, she says things and uses words and speaks in maybe odd ways. And so people look at her funny. And so she thinks the problem is with them. Um, she also has scars on one side of her face and I'm not exactly sure what happened, but it had something to do with a fire and it had something to do with her evil mother. So um, anyway, there's a bit of mystery involved. Um, and so she goes to a concert and sees a, um, a band and she immediately falls in love with the musician and decides that they are destined to be together. And so she has to figure out a way to um, meet him in person. And she's convinced that, um, yeah, that they're gonna be together. In the meantime, her and a coworker um, happen upon a um, elderly man who fell in the road or something and he's unconscious and so they help him and get him to the hospital and um and so they're spending time together so you can see where this is probably going um but anyway it's a um entertaining book so far and uh, maybe i'll let you know how i feel about it in the end that's what i'm reading